everybody. Sorry about our technical difficulties. Hopefully you are hearing and seeing everything that is happening right now. We are currently in round two of six Swiss rounds for the Canadian National Championship of X-Wing. Uh, we are live on day 1B. So yesterday we had approximately 50 some odd players. Today we have closer to 70, all fighting for their place in day two, which takes place tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, anyone who has uh, a score of four to two or better will be making it to play two rounds of Swiss and a cut to top eight on day two. Uh, like I said, we are currently in round two of Swiss, so. Oh, we're back on. We are on, Aaron awesome. is back. So, so we've got the awesome bomb fortress. I Look love at that, thing. that fortress. It's beautiful. And Nick has double locked uh, with long range scanners on Major Vinder. So he's going to try to kill her all to heck. We should run through this crazy bomb list that Nick Rowland yes. is running here. Please tell us about it because right. I'm a little overwhelmed. Okay, so we got Nim. Now, this is Scum Nim, so he is unaffected by his own bombs. Um, so if uh, if he drops a reveal bomb, it goes off. He don't care. Yeah. Um, this will be six and moving right now. Okay. So Nim has debris gambit. So so long as he's within range one, so he takes an action with debris gambit. Uh, he gets one evade token per uh, obstacle within range one of it. He's got the TLT. You all know what that is and hate it. <laughs> he's got extra munitions. So he's got two rounds of harpoons. He has cluster mines. Uh, and he has another set of cluster mines, so he has a total of four rounds a to start with. A lot of cluster mines. He's got the pain bot R5P8, so anytime Nim is shot at, Nim can elect once a round to make somebody shooting at him uh, roll a die. And if it's a hit, they take a damage. If it's a crit, they both take a damage. Anything else, nothing happens. So, we've got three mines on the table. Unfortunately, because of the outage, we didn't see where they came from. Um, and who dropped them? Uh, and look, our wonderful droid has put cluster mines up for us. Um, cluster mines, of course, were errata, so uh, they do score damage on a hit or a crit roll. So they were improved, essentially. Yeah. And Soul Sixa. Always reminds me of that guy from Motley Crew, Nikki Six. Anyway. <laughs> uh, He's got trick shot, so shooting through that debris gives him an extra die with his TLT. He's got extra munitions, so he's got two rounds of clusters. Um, and we have Cad Bane, uh, which allows him to re-roll dice on bomb rolls, or to have the dice re-rolled um, once per round, per bomblet or cluster mine nodule. And he has long-range scanners. Okay, this must be Nim here. So, Nim is looking to get that harpoon shot off on Vinder. Going for Vinder. Did Vinder lock somebody? Um. Jean's got funny little tokens. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so, the, so, it looks like Jean has the initiative. All right, so if you're... John, do you try to come around the back, or do you just fire through all these and not even bother coming around? Ooh, that's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. Nice. So that's three in the direction of Soul, I believe. So rolls one evade, and she, and he gets another evade because he's hidden behind the cluster mines. So Nim's ability. The, the second part of Nim's ability is conferred upon his allies as well. Right. So, so long as there is a bomb token in between the Sixa or Nim and whatever's shooting at them, they get an extra evade result. So here's Nim firing his harpoon missile. Is he going to spend the lock to reroll that? He has LRS, so he doesn't have chips. Looks like he is. And he gets four. four. And that target lock is gone. We've got, so, uh, Vinder must have slammed, and he's using palp. So an evade result is palp. Wow. Oh, wow. And the cluster mine doesn't connect. So there's Vinder's power in action. So that's one harpoon just 
wasted, essentially. Yep. <laughs> that that's fabulous for Jean. Now he fire. Now Vinder will fire her own harpoon. I guess that's on Sixa. It's the only one in arc. Right. There she goes. So spending the lock to re-roll. So she only gets three. And two go through on Sixa. So that puts Sixa down to what? Two, two shields, shields. Five hull. And Sixa is harpoon. The, the Harpoon card is, and many of the other uh, conditions in competitive play can seem kind of silly because your opponent damn well knows how a Harpoon works. To be fair, I played against them for the first time yesterday. I'm like, can I have that card, please? Okay, there you go. <laughs> but most people, that yes, did. that's correct. Yeah. I just don't like that they're so plain and black and white. No color on those ones. So this looks like a TLT shot yep. got through on Vinder. Nice. So he's rolling four dice for six of because of trick shot. That's only two. Can Vinder dodge? I see one evade, two evades. Or perhaps that's cocked. It's cocked. Oh, she Ooh. doesn't get it. So she so takes another damage. Another damage. Still, she took two shields uh, and completely dodged a harpoon missile well, that round. So yeah, that, there are good. worse things that could happen, for sure. And the shuttle is out of range. So I guess the question is, do you put that? Okay. So one thing we're gonna we should watch for here yeah. is we've got reveal bombs on Sixa. Sixa has a bomblet generator. Right. So uh, if Jean were to try to fly through debris or something to penetrate that area to go in on Sixa further, who's almost certainly turning away now to TLT and run. Yeah. Uh, Sixa will drop those bomblets as well, and. Usually when you're looking at a ship with bomblets, you remember. But if there's a whole bunch of other bombs on the table to already think about, <laughs> you can forget. Right. Ultimately, the disadvantage or the downfall of a list like Nick Rollins here uh, is that if your opponent is very canny and they choose just to disengage do some damage, disengage, come back, and then let things run out, let the clock run out. Right. Kill one of your ships. They can do it and have a win. And then you have to come out of your little uh, shell casing and try to get them. So Nim can just plunge through those bombs. They won't affect him. Such a good ability on Nim. Honestly, I think Nim having both of those, Scum Nim having both of those abilities is bananas. <laughs> but then, I think Nim is just bananas. <laughs> Nim in general. Yeah. All right, here comes the shuttle. Jean seems to be willing to spend the Omicron here. He's got two rounds three rounds at the most before he connects with the cluster mine. Yeah. I mean, he could turn away in the next round, but he's likely to get TLT'd here. So, Sixa is going to drop the bomblet. Oh yeah, Soul Six's pilot ability is he can drop a bomb Lit, uh, reveal bomb, uh, any bomb with a hard one token. That's right. I totally forgot about that until they just did that now. Yeah. And so that's yet another tricksy feature of this list. If I was Nick, I would forget everything. So <laughs> kudos to him for being able to play something like this. I find it complicated myself. Yeah, definitely part of the jam is playing an opponent and going, oh, yeah, and I do this other thing you as don't, well. Yeah, you don't just pick up this list and say, I think I'll bring this to a tournament. You practice this. Nick has been practicing the heck out of this for, like, a month or something. I see variations of this uh, on the Internet these yes. days. Uh, not everybody uses Debris Gambit on Nim. Uh, a lot of people still stick with VI. It's a hard In this one. matchup... The VI might have helped against the Inquisitor, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. Uh, 
Is an inquisitor moving before Nim? I don't know. Linder is disengaging. Yeah, his legs. Clearing her stress. She's just going to slam out. And no point trying to fly right through those clusters. And reload. PTL and advanced slam on Binder is just such incredible <laughs> action efficiency. The trouble is, as we can see, uh, Vinder is amazing, but she's 40 points. Right. So that's like more expensive than quick draw. Oh, yep. Yeah. Slam it out. Yep, right call. Keep her alive as Here long as comes. possible. Yeah. Come back around with a better shot later. Yeah, so that slam actually does uh, put her in a nice setup where she can just circle that rock, yeah. throwing missiles at whoever dares to be within her range. So she's reloaded her harpoon. Is he going to push <coughs> with the disabled token? Weapons disabled. Yeah, I would have pushed there. Would have pushed for the focus. I don't want to take a single damage on my 40-point ship unless I don't have to. Oh, so you're right. The Inquisitor is moving before Captain Nim. Is that a bomblet range? That's good news. <laughs> Always happy about that. So he's just going to... Token up. One wonders if Jean has an exit strategy here. <laughs> the shuttle can stall, I suppose. Yeah. But then the Inquisitor has to do a hard one or a bank one in the subsequent turn. And... Nim's just playing it cautious. I think that may be a bit, a bit too cautious. So, on Nick's side, should he be gunning for Vinder now that he's already done those two shields of damage to him? Yes. In fact, I think here he should uh, use long range strangers to get a target lock. Be ready for yeah. when he comes back around. Two turn to the left next turn and do a missile off with Vinder. Well, we saw how that went last time. Didn't work out so well for Nam, but... Yeah, but if you can get even one through, his TLTs can proc the harpoon condition. Right. So, we have the Inquisitor on Sixa. Yep. And it looks like John's put him in a spot, put himself in a spot where he shoots through that tiny gap. Yeah. Spends the focus. So that is three damage. Oh, on nice. Sixa. That's good headway. Yeah, really making it through there. Uh, Checking the harpoon condition over here. Yep. So the crit triggers it, and the crit happens first. Oh, sorry, the face down happens first. Okay, well, they're doing it in the wrong order. It's not a huge thing. You can see that? Oh, it was a major explosion. Whew, dodged oh. the bullet there. <laughs> Another face down. Wow. So Sixit is already in trouble. Yeah. This game is already swinging to Jean's favor. Now, it was a good move for Nim to grab that target lock on Vinder, but seeing that, Vinder can be like, yo, peace out. Two yeah, turn left. Not dealing with this. Slam. Be like, yeah, I'll see you when I see you on my terms. Yeah, exactly. And at this point, when you've already put in all that damage to Six Egg, you're feeling like, oh, I might be a little ahead in here. Don't need to rush this. So it's TLT fire through the debris. Uh, I still think you should still think he should have focused with Vinder, but... Just one. One. Is he going to spend the lock? No, he's saving the lock for the for the harpoon shot. And so that stops uh, not getting through. Just one again. Nah. Whoa! Oh, I, did you see what that fourth die was? Nope. Nothing? No damage cart was dealt, so it must have been an evade. It must have, yeah. 
Wow, I think this game is making me a huge vendor fan. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna see you next time running three vendors just because you want to. Yeah. All right, there's the evade. Oh, he's not having a lot of luck with his TLTs right now. Well, that's the thing. Um, yeah, no I've, mods on them, right? No mods is, you know, your, your TLT fire uh, drops in reliability. Yeah. Oop, get crit, palpin' in the crit. The harpoon condition was removed earlier. Hit crit, but chances are, well, they got to measure closest point to closest point. Because one way causes us to go through the debris. Right. Double of A's. Double. Don't matter. Nice. It's always so satisfying when you're one of those one agility ships and you get two of A's. Any of those times you get that extra die. That's Amazing. That's really frustrating. I was fighting <laughs> this endless series of ghost fens yesterday. And on the rounds where you're range three of the ghost and you roll a bunch of dice and... Uh, uh, it rolls an evade, you're like, damn, that is just so wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So. So. Planning phase happening now. What do you think the Inquisitor is going to be doing here? He's going to have to hard turn away from that. He doesn't want to fly into that madness. Yeah. And it's not your this time, so he can't just plunge through that debris. Right. He Otherwise, might still do it anyway. Nah. No? Lit. Oh, yeah, you're right. So Sixa will probably drop the bomblet with a hard one, right? Yeah, absolutely. From his butt. You're and right. So I think he's stall with the shuttle. I'm glad you're here. You have a lot more experience with bombs than I do. I totally forgot that it existed already. Maybe, maybe Jean will as well. You never know. Jean is a really good player. He uh, he did. Uh, he was top. He was in the finals at Re uh, Rochester, I think. Oh, really? Rochester. Yeah, against Alan Fung. A uh, game he lost, but was very close. Uh, he's a couple of times won some store champs. Uh, so he's one of Salt Squadron's so, premier players. Yeah, he knows what's up. He's a he's a mild person, so he's, he's no Brudaccio in him. You can't tell. Hello, Brew. How you doing? Thanks for sticking with us, Brew. And everybody else still out there? Okay. So he's just disengaging. Yep. He's like, I'm not now. dealing with this garbage either. He's thinking now. Eh. Have Soul's fun shooting him. Yeah. So I'm just going to fly the shuttle away, make you work for it. Come back around the really, really slow way. Hello, Winnipeg. We've got a stress for the shuttle. Yeah, non Ron Con says, thank God, I thought he might try and go in. It would have been a cluster mine, a debris yeah. field, and a bomblet. So, yeah, that would have been suicide. Yeah, no, that, that was the right choice for sure. You'll still get a TLT here. Yeah, those the ships are just bunkering down. Like, you don't need to rush at them. You can take your time, come back around. Well, we must not forget, now I'm not sure of the exact count, but I'm pretty sure there, there must still be cluster mines on Nim. Yes, because Nim has, what, four of them. Well, he has minefield mapper, so he must have dropped one set of cluster mines in the opening round. Uh, sorry, before time began. Yeah. Um, and he has two cards, so he dropped two of them before cards, and then one of the two got, one of the two ships dropped the others. Oh, so Nick is just going to joust Nim. Look at that. Beautiful. Three turns. Come on right around. Back. So with Vinder, you actually want to slam for defense. It's so counterintuitive if you've been playing the other uh, gunboats. <laughs> right. So she target locks, and I think that was push for a focus. I can't tell what his weird little tokens are. Yeah. In Okay, what's Nim do? Does Nim turn away? It looks like he's turning away. 
that is huge for Vinder. Wow. Oh, yeah. So I keep forgetting, uh, Vinder also has proton rockets. So she was like, do it. Come to range one. I right. double dare you. Yeah. You can take my four-die oh, harpoon missile. Oh, you want to avoid missile, the harpoons? Cool. You can have the rockets in the face. Can't That's win. Brilliant. Can't win. That is awesome. I love this Vinder build. So Nim is going to try to hide behind the cluster mine, get himself an extra evade token. Worth it. Evade result, pardon me. And he's still going to get shot in the butt with our twin missiles. <laughs> so Nick's careful approach here is really... Sorry, not Nick. Jean's uh, careful approach is really paying off. Uh, just as an aside, Jean's middle name is Nick, which he goes by as well, so very confusing. That's why I yes. keep saying Nick over and over again. So if you know him and you know him as Nick, well, same guy. Yep, got the range. So, what's happening? TLT from Nim right now? Yep. Two, Two hits. He's not spending the lock. He's saving it to Talon roll with next round. Spends and the focus. And Vinder's like, whatevs. Yeah. Yep. Those TLTs are not rolling so well on modded. And that's natties. Yeah. <laughs> not exactly when you needed three of them, but you take it. And the best that Nim can do here is two defense dice. All right. And she'll have to spend that lock. Yeah, focus is already gone. Not, Three and a crit. Not bad. Three and two crits. Oh, he palped one in. He really wanted that damage there. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I didn't notice, but the Inquisitor seems to have self-pumped on the OGP. Oh, yeah, you're right. So we got three shields from Nim and a harpoon token. Wow. So a die was rolled or something. I don't know what that was. Maybe they were determining if a die was cocked or something. Wow, those green dice are on fire for... Okay. Oh, that's a hit. Yeah, that's definitely York a hit. You can't dodge that. That is uh, a hit. The OGP, but... <laughs> we still Disney got here. Yor in our heads from last game. Yeah. That so, big white thing on the board. I mean, it flies away now. We've got both of those guys over there pretty badly hurt. Two yeah. shields from the OGP, two shields from Vinder from seven He's, health. Yeah, looking in pretty good shape on that side. Now, what would you do if you're Nick here? If I'm Nick, I'm... You gotta get your ships together and focus fire something off of the board. You gotta get something out of there. Yep. There's, I think they're too spread apart with their damage right now, and it's not, it's not helping him. Yep. So swing them both left. Well, Talon roll with Nim, and swing Sixa to the left. I mean, I'm still worried about that. Soul Sixa is one harpoon missile from Yeah, death. no, Soul Sixa is hurting. But uh, Vinder has to reload before she can terrorize them again. <laughs> She's got a lot of space over there to deal with that. Yeah. I'm thinking a nasty trick with Vinder might be just to uh, slam her way up into a position to block the Talon roll. Huh, okay. But she needs to do a two to clear the stress, and then she wouldn't have the... Hurts. No, yeah, you're right. So OGP goes Shuttle nowhere. Shuttle goes nowhere. Come on, Inquisitor, what you doing? <laughs> Six is thinking about dropping. Yep. Here it comes. Good call, good call. Might as well drop it, right? Yep. 
no in case point the not to. Inquisitor's feeling plucky. Yep, you never know. Yeah, he could be trying to sneak through that little space between the debris and the clusters. I don't, I don't think so, but he could be. Yeah, it could be. Uh, a couple technical difficulties here, folks. Our apologies. No big deal so far. Well, I mean, that's attack position on something for Sixa. Later, I mean. Yeah, not right now. A little okay, far out of range. One straight for Vinder. Wowie. Taking it slow. Get that harpoon reloaded and come back around. Target lock and reload her harpoon. Yeah. And Ready for the next round. She push? She's got a stress over there. But how many actions was that? Reload, target lock. That's oh, just two. Right. Well, yeah. right, 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 right. She didn't slam. Right. This is the only way she gets three. Okay. <laughs> the Inquisitor's taking his time. I mean, all by himself, Inquisitor backed up with Palpatine modification can solo six up. Oh, yeah. He's even just from range. Going around. No need to rush into. He's got it. Well, you look at that. A reload action. Oh, that's a handy you. reference card. Wow. I really thought he was going to do the talon roll around the rock. Yeah, went for the talon roll the other way. Wow, Jean called that. Does he have range know? on anything right now? I don't think so. <laughs> you know what might have happened? Nick might have been afraid of getting procketed in the face because the harpoons are oh, spent. Yeah, for sure. But Vinder could have... It's still scary. Still scary. Yeah. I think maybe he's just trying to get the shuttle. He's got to get something, right? So. I mean, I still think he just has to deal with Vinder. Shuttle just yeah, three those, straight here. Those reloading harpoons just over and over and over again. She's nasty. reloaded now. Yeah. She's got a target lock on Nim. Like, what's he going to do? He has to do a green. No, he has a target lock on Vinder, so he might do something like two turn towards her. Try to fake her out not remove his stress and then harpooner still I feel that's to her advantage so Nim is 55 points and Soul is 45 is there a bid on the other side or is it nope nope it's 100 both built to 100 I mean you might want to bid for the Inquisitor but there's no point with Vinder 7 nobody else is PS7 anymore Right. Dash is the only one I can think of. What are we waiting on here? Vinder's dial? Vinder's dial and Six's dial. Six's dial is down. Oh, okay. So we're just waiting on Vinder. And so she can one straight, two bank, and two straight to clear that stress. Wow. He's not running with the shuttle. Shuttle just taking the long way around. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, I guess it's only down two shields. Well, he's like, you either come here and shoot me and deal with my other two ships shooting you in the face, <laughs> or go after them and I'm still alive with my palp just chilling. Making Nick make a decision here. So, six is putting more of a cluster mine wall. That's a good call. Yeah, well, because it looks like Inquisitor was working his way around there. It may slow him down a bit, and uh, it also gives six a possibility of an evade result versus the Inquisitor's fire. Right, yeah, absolutely. Unless he can sneak it through another crack again. It's possible. Sharp shooting like last time. There are a few cracks. 
<laughs> too many tokens to hold together mm -hmm. on there. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing in this game stays where you put it the first time. I often feel like one should not play a list that exceeds one manu one's manual skill set. <laughs> Need to play on a magnetic board with all magnets. What did Vinder do? She banked one. Banked in. Which I think is green as well. I didn't mention her earlier. Yeah, why yeah. not? Oh. No. Nope, stress is still there. Wow. That's an unusual call. I mean, had I been her, I would have done the one straight and then slammed the one bank just to get the extra green die right. on Vinder. Yeah, Scum and Villainy <laughs> Podcast says, honest to goodness, when you see this list, just Fortress. Yeah, yeah, I yeah mean, absolutely. Play their dirty games against them. Yep. Well, going to play it out. Go for go for some points here. So yeah, that'll I be an extra green die for Nim, uh, for Sixa. From the rock, yeah, because it's obstructed, and an extra uh, evade and an aid, evade result on top of it because of the uh, bond token. Wow, that's crazy for a skirt. Yeah, that's got to be really frustrating for Gene on that side. Mm -hmm. Here we got a three straight, and is he turning his attack on the shuttle? I mean, the three straight means he's not gonna escape that harpoon missile. Yeah, no, he's taking Vinder. that shot from Vinder for sure. What's the confusion here? Who has um, the harpoon? So the harpoon on six already triggered. Right. So Nick must have misremembered and thought the harpoon was on uh, six F, but it's not. That's from the most recent harpoon. <laughs> Nim took. Can't keep track of all these harpoons. So Nim focuses. I'm not sure what he's going to do here. All right, we're doing Inquisitor first. Yeah. And he needs this third one in here. There you go. Two and a crit. So he might get the crit through. That would be nice for him. He does. Yep. So it's a crit on six up. See what it is. That looks like a direct. So we got a one hull six on the table. Two hull. Two me. hull. Yeah. Me. All right. So, Nim is going to TLT at Vinder. See how effective this one is. He's got a focus token. So he leaves it at two. Vinder has only, Vinder took a hit. only two dice here. Oh, I guess we had uh, Vinder's health wrong. Yeah, because he just took a damage card. Yeah. Fine there. So Vinder is down to three hull. Things are a bit scarier for Vinder than we thought. Yeah, I don't know what where we missed that, but So Nim is held on oh, he's palping a crit in. And we roll for three. Alright, that's hits. not exactly correct, but not sure what happened there, what happened? Three hits? Did he not do the crit from Palpatine? He put the token down. He, yeah, he flipped it to him. So, Nim. Waiting to see the damage cards here. Oh, it's got shield still. Yeah. Was there damage dealt that turn? Did Don asked. 
Um, okay. <laughs> Back to the aisles here. So. So the vendor just spent the harpoon, right? That's what just happened. Correct. Okay. So she's got to reload it if she wants to use another, but. And she's on three hulls, so she may die to TLT fire. Yeah, that's at some true. Point yeah, if he, if uh, Nick can get Soul Sixa and Captain Nim both on her. So, I'm still like baffled by how Gene is supposed to approach this. Like, he's been doing a great job. Because, like everyone in the chat's been saying, like, just fortress against it because it's nasty. But he's trying to play a real game of X Men here. But I just don't know what he needs to do. Like, he's not gonna fly through those clusters. It's not happening. Nope. Vinder just peels out here. And uh, she goes for another reload. And looks like the Inquisitor's going to have to turn away. So it's going to be a couple rounds before Jean can get back on, getting to work on Soul. Um, I guess Nim is just down to the two shields. Um, he took no damage from that hit? I guess not. Hmm. Uh, so right. Hambone77US1980 says Vinger needs to loop around that rock and get inside the castle. Don't forget, there's Bomblet in there, and there are also other cluster mines in there. Uh, don't forget, there's Bomblet in there, and there are also other cluster mines in there. And there's no defense against the TLT. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Rockstar OGP. He's had enough of this nonsense. It's a good move, though. Either Nim is turning, in which case... The OGP will take a shot on it. Have a nice shot, yeah. We get. Well, that's the debris. That's the debris. So, no effect from the debris. Now for the cluster. Mm hmm. And he's got oh. CAD, but it doesn't matter because. That is two hits. That's what he needed. Yeah. So, that means OGP is on hull. Shieldless. Half points. Half points for the OGP. Another bomblet. Nah, the Inquisitor's going to see that coming. Yeah. It's happened enough times. Yeah. <laughs> Four straights. Yep. He seems to be going in on the shuttle. Oh, is he Wild. going into that cluster? Vinder's hitting that. Oh my, Ouch. why did he do that? Yeah, he could have taken the long way around there. There's no reason to rush through. And, you know, even if he does okay on this bomb, so uh, that, okay. CAD can be used here to reroll yeah. this. So it's still just one crit, but that's brutal for it's Vinder. still one crit. Jean must think he was in a worse situation than he was there. I mean, these are desperation moves. Yeah, no, he didn't need to do either of those things. Now, I wonder what's going through his head. Uh, I think he's going to try to trigger that harpoon condition on Nim. Right. With the shuttle and a help. He's trying to get oh. into range one with a slam. Looks like it'll work on Nim, but... Sixa moves before Vinder, so Sixa can cluster mine him. Or throw cluster mines in front of Vinder. Yeah, that's Vinder a here. dangerous spot. And Vinder might be range two of Sixa anyway. Yeah. In which case, she's dead. Yeah. Or most likely dead. Yeah, Sixa's got some tokens in there right now. So Country Ad asks, is this a regular tourney? No, this is uh, Canadian Nationals. Canadian Nationals, big time. 
Lots of people here. There's about 70 players here today. Big deal. A total of 120 participating in Swiss so far, or thereabouts. Something like that. So I think this is turning into disaster for Yeah, for I think... Gene, he's got, like... He may well kill... Um, he may well kill Soul, but... Yeah, uh, he's going to lose Vinder. He did not have to make and all those risky moves just to take out Sol. I think he was doing all right up until then. And the shuttle's going to go straight into that debris, uh, into those... <laughs> More clusters in his yeah. face. What did Nim do? Did he get the block? Looks like he did. It may be that Gene has forgotten that Nim is immune to his own bombs. It doesn't even trigger it, right? Yeah. So it stays on the board. So then, is this going to put Nim at range two of Vinder? Just to really get him. Kill shot. Oh, I know what Vinder was trying to do. Vinder can shoot with a disabled token. Uh, so she was trying to get in there to proc at him, take a target lock, focus. Uh, sorry, so she would um, slam, target lock, and push to focus. Sorry, push to target lock, focus. <laughs> I think she can do three, right? Advanced slam gets another action. Yeah, she can do yeah. three. So, and then proc at somebody, but... No one's ended up there. Nim is going to try to TLT Vinder off the board. Just one. Oh. She takes it. Oh, Brutal. blanked out. Yeah, I think this is Vinder. Two. Two. He had better palp the evade here. He's not... Oh, he's got to focus. Okay. Yeah. So, so Vinder lives. Vinder's sitting at what, one? Yep. I don't think Vinder has the the range one for the brockets. If she doesn't have a focus anymore, it doesn't matter. Yeah. What is this? The this is, TLT sixes. from Sixa? Yeah. Whoa, oh. Vinder lives. Oh, well, that was no. no. Vinder okay. did not live. Ugh. That was really unfortunate. Oh, I see. Vinder had a target lock on somebody. Oh, it was him. Um, okay, well. Yeah. And he spent the palp, so he's hoping for a crit here. I mean, Soul Sixa is almost dead, so... Yep, I mean, the, this comes down to unmodified dice. Yeah. Which is where you don't want to be in a situation like this. <laughs> no, absolutely. Hmm? No, no, we're good. We'll have a break shortly. Hit crit. Oh, he palped the crit in. So palp. he didn't use palp on Vinder. He just accepted right. that she would die. So that's soul all blowed up. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't have enough dice to... But half points on the shuttle and 40-point Vinder does not... Uh, is not lesser than 45 points for soul Sixa. Yeah. Dead Sixa. So All there's right. 20 minutes in which the Inquisitor can try to kill Nim. Nim will try to kill the shuttle. I think he's still got a harpoon left. So yeah, that won't I think be we difficult. only saw one get fired. Yeah. Shuttle's sitting at half. So yeah, it's not a hard job for Nim to finish that. But Inquisitor is going to give him trouble, although doesn't have to kill the Inquisitor to win this game. That's right. That really turned. It seemed like Gene was coming out ahead for quite a while there. 
It did. I mean, we were wrong about Vinder's health, and so we were perhaps evaluating it a little optimistically. Right, true. I'm not sure, uh, Summation Sack, what the plan was for Vinder there. Uh, so Vinder can, if she has a focus and a target lock, uh, after a slam, fire the Prockets. Uh, and she might have been trying to get in on Soul Sixa. I'm not sure. Oh, is he flying over that cluster? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. If he evaded it, that's a heck of a move. <laughs> For a shuttle, yeah. Yeah. This is the second game we've seen. Nah, I hit it. Second game we've seen where the shuttle has been OGP. Has been just a really amazing contributor. Oh, he had to fly over the debris again. All right. One. And Cat is dead, so yep. no more rerolls. It's not bad. <laughs> there's one light at the end of the tunnel there. When there's no Sabine and there's no Cad and you've got bomb ro uh, bombs which are, are random range, it's not always totally terrible to just suck it up and Seems take it. Seems a lot more fair that way. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the Inquisitor. So Master 1996 says he should have palped that bomb roll to avoid damage. You know, he could have. Yeah. Um, maybe he's holding on to it for the TLT or, or something. I don't know. Coming around the clusters. Nim jumps out into range of the Inquisitor. Now he could target lock here and try to fire off harpoons on the Inquisitor, but yeah. it's not a great bet. He could focus and throw some TLTs into the shuttle. The worry for the Nim player here is that uh, the Palp Shuttle can palp in a crit for the Inquisitor, and uh, that'll trigger the Harpoon on Nim. Right. So he's barrel rolling back to get out of range. Good call. Yep. Makes sense. So Mr. Vader Cards and Games says, why not slam a hard two with, a bu with Vinder and bump Nim? Then you're in range one of both and not getting TLT. Oh, yeah, you're talking about a previous round. Yeah, well, it's hard to call those things when you're moving first and you're going for a block. Yeah, absolutely. So it looked like the TLT fire did its work. Yeah. And the shuttle is on three. Do you think the Inquisitor can uh, finish off this Nim on his own? It's a tall order. Yeah, for sure. But if he can somehow keep that shuttle on the table, he's not in a bad spot. Yeah, you're right. It means he can ignore uh, the, the, the harpoon missiles. Like, he can take a shot. And he can help that trip. So, no, the Inquisitor only took a focus. That was daring. 
I suppose he is palp. Yeah. Nim's coming right at him, though. Yep. He may barrel roll out of arc. It's like a TLT shot. Yeah. We will yeah, see. especially since he didn't token up. Probably still won't hit the Inquisitor, but. <laughs> you never know, you never know. Yeah, you try. Simon V asks, what is the reason to choose Vinder over Quick Draw in this list besides variety? The reason that uh, Gene did it is because he wanted to try out Vinder. That's the only reason. He'd been flying Quick Draw, Inquisitor, and Palpatine, and he wanted to try this out. Sometimes it's fun to try something new. Indeed. And just to repeat, uh, Gene has done really well um, in store champs and regionals and stuff in the past, uh, coming second place most recently uh, in a regional. So he's got a pretty good record. There we go. Yep. Arc dodge the Inquisitor. That's bad for the Inquisitor. He probably won't get hit here, but keeping Arc on Nim next round. A Nim who has cluster mines on him. Yeah. Needs to be shooting at Nim if he wants to get anywhere. That bomblet should not, not be there. there. That is long gone. It just got forgotten. All right, 13 minutes remaining in the round. And we have Jean trying to find a way yeah. to beat that Nim. We have points wise if John keeps Inquisitor and that Omnicron no he still doesn't have it right because the Omnicron's at half so yeah he's got to kill Nim yep. running out of time to do so as well yep. John has 46 points on the board and Nick has 55 that's some quick math yeah I guess this <laughs> X-Wing is helping. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vader's Cards and Games. Yes, the bomblet isn't actually there. They've just forgotten it. They missed it because it's right on top of a cluster. Here comes the Inquisitor. Fix his model and think about what to do. <laughs> um... It doesn't look like Nim can immediately get clusters on him from there, but he could bank one and drop him. And put uh, the Inquisitor in a really rough spot. Oh, so, yeah. That would be nasty. Ah. So Nick doesn't want to risk uh, shifting the cluster mines by removing the bomblet token. That's why they're not. <laughs> well, remember how much effort they put to put it down. Yeah. Does it hurt, oh. too? Going to fly right like into him. You know what? At this point, he's like, if you're not shooting at me, I'm fine with that. Yeah. And next round, he can program a one straight or something and try to cluster mine him. Nim has no reveal bombs, just cluster mines. Ten minutes remain. Shuttle still working his way around all of these clusters. He might get to Nim eventually. I don't think he wants to with only no, three yeah, hull. No, yeah, no. We got a 4K. Save that Inquisitor. MOV. That's a good call. Without any reveal bombs, Nim is not going to be able to mess with them with the clusters. Oh, 
All right. Four straight. Four straight. This is switching targets. Heading back to the shuttle. Once again, Scum Nim does not trigger friendly bombs. Lucky him. Mm hmm. I think they're out of range now, too. I think you're right. Oh, he's got long range scanners, so he can put the. Oh, well, that's nice, yeah. Him, oh, going for the shuttle. And there's nothing the shuttle can do about that. Yep, no range. Back to dials. Coming back. Yeah, it looks like Nim is gonna probably finish off that shuttle. If I'm right, and there's still another round of uh, harpoons in the chamber. I think you are right. So, uh, all right. We've got a hard two from the shuttle. Interesting. I guess he wants a shot. Yeah. But he's gonna. I'm surprised have to get... he didn't just fly like straight, get away. He's gonna have to get lucky. Yeah. Very lucky. The harpoon is likely to just kill him. Uh oh. That's smart. So what I think is happening there is uh, Jean's barrel rolled the Inquisitor right so as to not receive plus or minus anytime soon. Yeah, that's smart. The name comes in full aggro. <laughs> so it's our range here. That won't be harpoons then. No, nah, but it's four primaries, so it all comes out the same. Now, the Inquisitor does have the initiative, so Jean could palp a crit into the Inquisitor's shot. Which I think would be the call to make. Use it while you got it. Yeah, for sure. No, he's going to try to B roll and get bonuses from all the junk he's put on the table. I think he was actually trying to get out of range. Yeah, I think I think that's exactly what's happening there. So this is the primary at the shuttle. Why is Nim shooting first? Doesn't. Oh, okay. So yeah. he is out of range. So that's two hits onto the shuttle. So the shuttle is still kicking, but I think Nim escaped his arc. He did. Thanks, Steel Open. We try. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of compliments. We appreciate them. Um, all the audio and interface and everything, that's all VTTV Live, so shout out to them. Yep, you can check their Patreon to make some nice donations to keep their stuff going for X-Wing, for the Prototype League, for the coverage of all the big X-Wing events in Toronto as well as Armada, uh, Legend of the Five Rings, uh, and Netrunner, too. Imperial Assault. Imperial Assault. People still play that? <laughs> they got everything. OK, some spatial drift happening. Spatial gravities at work. Whoa, aggressive Inquisitor. Wants to trigger that harpoon. Now, Nim's done a great job these last couple of rounds. Let's, yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's give a big shout out to Nick. Nim has done some really nice running and dodging of the Inquisitor. He's doing hard to the other way, right? Because he'll just use his TLT, get behind his uh, cluster mine forest. Finally got rid of that bomb light. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Hambone. Uh, none of us have anything to do with Trailer Park Boys. Not that you can prove. <laughs> yeah. 
We got one damage from the Inquisitor, and he didn't pal. Oh, I guess he did. So hit crit, and he got nothing through. Oh. Yeah. Kill the shuttle, kill the shuttle. Why is he taking a damage card when he's still got a shield up? Did you see that? He... I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oops. Oh, there goes the shuttle. There goes the OGP. R.I.P. OGP. Oh, Harpoon goes under shields. Thank you. Oh, okay, so it was triggered. Okay. So the Inquisitor must have hit. Okay, sorry, folks. I've been the one steering you wrong. Yes. So Nim is now missing all but one of his shields and has a damage card on him. So still at five health. Tall order for... The Inquisitor, especially with the forest of cluster mines in front of him. Okay. <laughs> so this is this is an interesting question. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, ahead. after you. Um, I was in one of these situations yesterday, where I was down on points, uh, was up against a Nim. There was a slim chance I could get him. Yeah. But there was also a solid chance I would lose my remaining ship. Um, what do you do? Uh, if you're in Gene's situation here, do you go, damn it, I'm just going to run away, even though I'll take a I loss? guess it depends what kind of tourney player he is. Like, does he want to protect oh. those points? No, he doesn't. He's chasing. Because we know Nim that is just going to run. Badass. Go for wins. That's right. Badass. Look at that. That Wow. He does yeah. not care at this point. He's like, I'm going to try and get me this win if I can. Well, I always do, but I was thinking about it yesterday, and I was like, wow, I should have run. That's just what kind of player you are, though. I'm always the one who's going, you know what, I'm going to try whatever I can to win this game, even if there's barely any chance, right? Yeah. And you know what, I like playing against people like that myself. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But it, it makes perfect sense to hold on to your points if you're really worried about making cuts and stuff. I suppose. It, why didn't he barrel roll? Barrel roll into range one. Okay, he's going to TLT him. Maybe he has a plan. Cluster mines next round. Get a damage through here, cluster mine him next round. Oh, no, no TLT. No, he's, yeah, he's in range one. <laughs> They've just nudged the ship base, but now they're still checking. All right, so they called for a judge, so we're waiting on that call now. Yep. This base got nudged when they were starting, so... Yeah, I can see stuff shifting all over the place. Yeah. It's not been a very neat game. There's a I lot mean, of stuff on this board. They tried. Yeah, no, it's not... Not that they're purposely being sloppy. There's so much cardboard in here. Okay, so they decided it was range one to begin with. Ooh. Okay. So this this is going to be the last round, I so, assume. To reply to Gus, 888. So he minefield mappered two sets of cluster mines at the beginning of the game down. We didn't see this because we were having technical difficulties. And because he has two cluster mine cards... Um, along with extra munitions. He can place two cluster mines at the start. So it has nothing to do with the extra munitions token that allows him to place two. It's because he's got two cards. All right. Yeah, Mastin 1996 says it, yep. Well, that was daring. Jean, oh, it's 20 seconds. Yeah, the, no, the time was just called in the round, so this is this is done. It's 
yeah. shots here. And here are the cluster mines, but it's not going to kill the Inquisitor. Oh, oh is this barrel rolling out? Doesn't care. 